Alright, Shalom. I'm a Hebrew Israelite out here once again. Another weekend of prophesied the total destruction and downfall of this wicked kingdom known as America. Alright. First of all, I want to give all praise and glory and honor to the Heavenly Father and the Son, Yahweh by Shimmy Abba Shot. Double honor to the elder apostles, Great Millstone, and much love, peace, and blessing to all you elect brothers out there that spread across the four corners of the globe preaching this truth. Alright, we're gonna start off like we always do with the Lord's chosen people, his chosen children, the nation of Israel, all right, Judah, so-called Negroes, Benjamin, Jamaica, the West Indies, Levi, the Haitians, uh, Simeon, the Dominicans, Zebulon, Panama, the Guatemala, Ephraim, the Puerto Ricans, Manasseh, the Cubans, Reuben, the Seminole Indian, uh, Gad, the North American Indians, Asher, Brazil, Colombia, to Uruguay, Naphtali, Argentina, to Chile, last but not least, Issachar, the so-called Mexican. These make up the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel, the Lord's chosen people. Because the Lord didn't, didn't come on this earth and die for everybody. No, he only died for his people, the nation of Israel, the elect at that. See what I'm saying? But today we're going to be dealing with a subject uh, Okay I'm going to start at uh, This first scripture is going to be Ezekiel 39 At verse 23 It says And the heathen Meaning these other heathen nations so-called white people, Arabs, East Indians, the African, Chinese, Japanese, Hawaiians. It says, and the heathen shall know that the house of Israel, which are you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, went into captivity, meaning went into slavery, for their iniquity, which is sin, because they trespass against me, who is against me, against the law, statute, commandments of the Heavenly Father and His Son. And it says, Therefore hid I my face from me, from them, because uh, for a long period of time, before Yahweh Shai came and died on the cross, hell, the Heavenly Father wasn't dealing with us, man. Why? Because of our wickedness. And still today, even two-thirds, the Lord ain't dealing with you. Why? Because of your wickedness. That's why a lot of you Negroes, Latino, Native Americans are getting killed out here in the streets. Why? Because you disobey the laws and commandments of the Bible. That's why the Lord is killing you. So if the Lord came and died for everybody, then why is he killing people? Because why? He's angry with the, with the wicked people and their wickedness. So that's a lie when the church tells you that the Lord hates the sin and not the sinner. No, that's a lie. Because the Lord hates the sinner also. What is sin? Transgression of the law. What law? The Bible. The law of the commandments of the Lord's word. And it says, Therefore hid I my face from them and gave them into the hand of their enemies. So you Negroes, Latino, and Native Americans have enemies here in America, whether you realize it or not. You have enemies. Just because a person gives you a job, paying you $15 an hour, but you get your check and give it right back to the person that gave you the job, your lights, water, and gas, that's what? Your enemy. That's not your real brother. Because a real brother look out for you. What's up, bro? A real brother will look out for you and take care of you. See what I'm saying? He will put you in debt. But guess what? You Negroes, Latino, and Native Americans you have enemies out here. Now who is that? Number one, the white man. That's who your number one enemy is. That's who you pay all your utilities to. Your food, your clothes, your houses, even to catch the bus. You give me your money back to them. So-called white man. That's who own and run everything. You can think this is a joke all you want. The Lord will kill you for that. For taking this as a joke. The Lord's word is serious. There's nothing to play with. Especially bonehead nigga women, man. That's why the Lord is killing a lot of y'all, man. Because you take everything as a joke. Like it's funny. You don't want to listen. You're always talking back, being hard-headed. You don't want to tell a man, you not, you can't tell me what to do. You ain't my daddy or you being controlling. When a, when a man is set up on you to guide you through your daily life, man, through your walk in life. 
to keep you from bumping your head and making simple, stupid mistakes that you women like to make, man. And it says, and gave them into the hand of their enemies, so fell they all by the sword. What's the sword used for? A killer instrument. It ain't to tickle your ribs or to scratch your back when it's itching, no. It's to kill you. It's a threshing uh, uh, instrument using to kill. You see what I'm saying? So the Lord destroyed Israel for what? Their wickedness, just like he did in the flood. This time it's gonna be another flood, but not by water, it's gonna be by a thermonuclear fire. That's what all these nations are geared up for. Thermonuclear fire. You see what I'm saying? Next scripture I'm gonna get. That is the Apocrypha. Well, it's so like I'm gonna read on down. Verse 24. According to their uncleanliness and according to their transgressions have I done unto them and hid my face from them. Once again, the Lord reiterated that what? Because of your wickedness, he hid his face from you. Meaning what? He turned his back on you. Why? Because you were being wicked, ignorant, Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. See what I'm saying? The Lord is not dealing with you when you commit sin upon sin upon sin. It's one thing to sin and be repentant for it, but it's another thing to sin and keep sinning and keep sinning and keep sinning. The scriptures tell you a righteous man fathers seven times, but then gets back up and continue on that straight and narrow path, man. That don't mean, a, oh, well, I messed up today. I'm just going to keep on messing up day after day after day after day. Ain't no sense to me repenting because I'm going to do the same thing tomorrow. Well, you're doing it willfully. You see what I'm saying? Just like a lot of you brothers in the truth, man. A lot of y'all are getting weak, man. You're making excuses not to come out here and teach his word. And the Lord is getting sick and tired of it, man. That's why Indianapolis is being hit with so many storms and tornadoes, man. Because of the wickedness out here. Now, the next tornado to come here ain't going to be nothing nice. It might be an F7 or, or an F8. You never know. But you Negro, Latino, Native American need to come back to the Lord before it's too late, before he kill you, before he destroy you. See what I'm saying? It's time out for all the fun and games, man. It's time out for all the nonsense. It's time, it's time out for being simple. It's time out for that, man. The Lord is about to come back real soon and destroy you wicked Negro, Latino, Native American, man. And you can feel it, man. You don't, you, you can feel that this place is not gonna last another three years, man. You can feel it. So why you got people making plans for 2020 and 2030, we might not even see 2016. Which is in a couple of months. You know what I'm saying? We might not even see that, man. We might not even see the rest of 2015, who knows? The way the prophecies are speeding up and, and coming to pass, we might not even see it. Lord willing we don't, because I'm tired of being here, man. I'm tired of dealing with two simple-minded Negroes, Latino, and Native American, man. Our people is out here bad, man. The Lord has totally destroyed our people, man, for their wickedness, and you can see it. You can see it on their faces. You can see it in their mannerism. You can see it in their countenance, man. Verse 25, Therefore thus said the Lord God, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh now will I bring again, again, that means once before, again, the captivity of Jacob, and have mercy upon the whole house of Israel, and will be jealous for my holy name. When is he going to have mercy on Israel? When he come back and destroy this place and bring Israel back to the kingdom, through the loins of the elect. You see what I'm saying? Because the whole nation of Israel is not going to make it on this side. Two-thirds have to be destroyed. They have to. You can see it, man. When I first came into this truth, I used to wonder why the apostles be so hard on the Negroes, Latino, and Native Americans. I used to wonder why. But now I see why. Ain't no love for these wicked two-thirds Negroes, Latino, and Native Americans. I ain't worried about the heathens. I'm talking about you Israelites, man. You Negroes, Latino, and Native Americans. The heathens going to be heathens. They're going to do what they do. But you Israelites, you Negro, Latino, Native American, you know better, man. 
The Lord gave us laws, statutes, and commandments to live by for a reason. Not to be like these heathen nations. To separate ourselves. To be purer than these heathen nations, man. But you Negroes act like you love being just like these heathens, man.